All right, so the last, the last little bit of HTML that I'm gonna show you right now is how to create a list. So a list, what is a list? A list is a group of objects, usually in a sequential order, sometimes not. Um, and there's a way that you can create a list easily in HTML. So let's begin. I'm gonna hit, I'm going to put our list within the div because I wanna keep it centered, right? So I'm gonna write a little, I'm gonna hit return and I'm gonna show you guys. The first list, type of list I'm gonna show you is UL. And what this UL stands for is unordered list. If we look on the preview side of our web page, we'll see that there's nothing there and that's because there's no content. Um, so I'm gonna hit return, make a space, and then in between the opening and closing tag for the UL, I'm going to tab it so I have some lines, some clean lines, and I'm gonna write LI. And when I write the word LI, we'll see that there's a little dot, which means that this is the first thing on our list. And I'm going to write, this is the first thing in my list. Um, and then I'm gonna do another LI to put a different element, a different part of our list. I'm gonna hit return. And I'm gonna write, this is the second thing in my list. I'm gonna go down and then you can see that I have two things in my list. I have the first thing and then I have the second thing. So let's say that I wish that, let's say that I want to make, put numbers on the things in my list. How would I do that? Well, right now we have this UL, which means unordered list in HTML. The way that I can put, have automatically have numbers in front of the items in my list is that instead of UL, I'm gonna write the word OL. And when my preview side refreshes and I go to the bottom, bottom, you'll see that the list is automatically numbered. And so now if I continue to add more LIs, which is things in my list, I can be like, wow, look at these numbers. Right? And I scroll down, we'll see that I now have three things in my list and it will continue to update the number for me because of little ol. Um, and if I want to switch that over to unordered list, you got to make sure I will have to make sure that I change both the opening and closing tag um, back from ol, which is ordered list, to ul, which is unordered list. And now we have it. We have bullet points back to bullet points, back to bullet points again. Great. So there you guys have it. This is what I wanted to show you guys today. Before I send you guys off, let's look at my HTML code one more time. So personally, I think it's a little bit messy, so I'm gonna show you guys how to make it a bit cleaner, right? So some a way to make it cleaner is that since everything is within that div tag, I, if I tab all the objects within the div close, um, to the right, it'll be easier for my eye to see what is actually within the div. All right, same thing with the UL, right? Since the parts of the list are within the opening and closing tag of the UL, I have it tabbed over, which shows that it's a more complicated, nested thing happening over here. Um, and so now, now this is cleaned up a little bit better for me, that I can see that all these things are within the div. Um, and you know, if you find some, you find this visually confusing, you can also make your, you can also continue to like indent things. For example, if you think it's easier for you to see your code with the things within the opening and closing tags separate from the items themselves, you could do something like this, where you put the content further in. Right, and that way you can. It might be easier for you to see where the opening and closing tags are. For things like links and everything, you don't really want. You want to be careful that you don't like um, mess up the spacing, right? Because that might break things. So just make sure that um, you keep the actual code, like these parts, intact like keep the spacing the same, but then like the text that is white, you can generally like 
um, indent as you like to make it easier for you to see. So that is a pro tip that I have for you. Um, and uh, the last cool feature that I'm going to show you about Mozilla Thimble before closing this off is like you might as might have noticed that in the image part that if you do click if you click here um, you want to upload a file right uh, something that you might find fun is this little take a selfie option so let's say you want to add a picture of yourself super easily to your website what you can do is you can click take a selfie All right. I got some permission. All right, there I am. There's my beautiful face. I'm going to click the camera. Oh, that's a good selfie. I'm going to select the selfie. All right, and now I have an image of myself. <laughs> and if I go to the index.html and maybe I want to put a picture of myself at the bottom of the website, I write IMG, do SRC. I do, I click on the selfie one PNG and then I close it off. And I can write in, I can make a little paragraph tag, hit return, space it out and say, this is me, my name is Melody and this is my website. Right? And something that you guys can also think about is maybe you don't want to have the, maybe you want to move some of the code around and you're not sure of what order you could put your code. You can always copy and paste and move your code around. So for example, maybe I want to put this image in text at the top. I'm going to select this. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to delete. I'm going to go to the top and right under H1, I can paste the code. And there you have it. Now you can see that instead of having my picture of myself at the bottom, it's now on the top. And there we go. Maybe I also want to change, maybe I want the this text to stand out a little better. I can change it to a different type of header. And then what we'll see is that now this text is much larger, it stands out, and it's going to come up on the search a little bit easier when people type into Google about maybe they want to look for, wow, HTML plus cats. Um, this will be, Google will like find this text a little bit sooner. All right, so that's what I'm going to show you guys today. What did we learn? We learned about how to add an image on our website. We talked about how to create a link. We also talked about how to make a picture a link. And we had talked about how to make ordered lists and unordered lists in HTML. So something that you guys should know is that we did not go over all of the code or all of the HTML that is possible um, for a website. And the reason for that is because there's just so much and the best way for you to learn is by playing around yourself. So let's say there's an object or vision that you have and the things that I've taught you right now don't fulfill like your vision, you, that you need to learn more objects, the best thing for you to do is to Google on the internet and to practice and play with the objects and really figure out how to style and get the results that you want. I also want you guys to remember that if you're having a hard time remembering how to call something or how to create a certain image that is perfectly normal it takes a really long time for people to learn HTML and CSS. It is a different language. People don't learn languages overnight. It's perfectly acceptable to go on the internet and search, hey, how do I add an image? Or how do I add a link? Or how do I create nested divs or whatever you want? And this is part of a process of learning HTML and CSS. And I hope you guys have a real fun time experimenting and creating new things for your website.